All right, well, this is our gentle yoga practice today. So uh, we will be on the mat, but that being said, you are welcome to use the chair at any point and at all points in the practice if you'd like. I'll do my best to give you modifications, but just know that you can do whatever works for you. The real key is to just keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving, whatever you can do, keep moving, keep breathing um, and practice being present. Doesn't matter if you're, you know, on the wrong side or move too fast or too slow, or, you know, you're in a chair instead, instead of standing up, it, none of that matters. The idea is to be present, to just listen to your body and move so it feels good. Um, of course, remember your breath and breathe as deeply, as mindfully as you can throughout the practice. Um, and just really uh, have fun being with yourself today. We will start with our few moments of centering and then we'll move into our flows from here. So just make a little adjustment here. So get comfortable in your seated posture, whether that's in a chair or on the floor, whether that's using supports, Feel the spine get nice and long. Feel the muscles of your face relax. Close your eyes and unclench your jaw. Imagine the skin on your face, the cheeks just melting down to the earth. With the shoulders away from the ears, feel the arms supported and relaxed on the thighs or in the lap. Check in with the hands, the palms, the fingers. Let every one of your fingers be relaxed. Let your hips begin to release and the knees to melt down to the floor. As you relax the upper legs and the lower legs, as you relax your feet and your toes. And allow yourself to find stillness. This is a stillness that yes, is very little movement in the body, but it's also a stillness that's within. It's like a, a lake or a river that's settled and calm as opposed to being really disturbed and active. This is a stillness of peace and calm, of quiet. And your breath. Watch it first as it is as you feel it moving throughout your body, just gently, easily, staying connected to that stillness, to that peace and that calm, even as you feel the movement of your breath. Gradually allow your breaths to lengthen and to deepen. Take a long, slow, deep breath in through the nose. And a long, slow, steady breath out through the nose. Allow everything else to fade into the background. There is only this moment of peace and calm from the stillness and the quiet.
And from this stillness and quiet, listen to your heart and set your own personal intention for your practice this morning. The hard part is done. You're here now. What are you here to receive? How can this practice serve you? I invite you to dedicate your practice. Draw energy into your own personal space to support you and to guide you, motivate you, to inspire you, help you find your will and your discipline in your practice. share the gifts of this practice with someone else in your life that for whatever reason not here to receive it themselves Let's take our next breath together. Inhale and reach the arms all the way overhead. Bring the palms together and as you exhale, let the hands slowly float down through the center to rest at your heart. Namaste. As you inhale, take the fingertips and reach them all the way up to the sky. And as you exhale, expand and stretch. Get as wide as you can here until you feel the fingertips down on the earth. And then inhale, take the arms, reach them all the way out and up. And as you exhale, let the arms slowly float back down to your side. Practice, practice expanding and stretching and breathing as you inhale big and wide as you reach to the sky and then exhale slowly the arms down to the earth. Let the fingertips stay on the earth. Feel the energy through the fingertips pulling the shoulders away from your ears. Take the right ear over to the right shoulder. So the left fingers reach down and away. Feel the stretch into the side of your head, into your neck through the shoulder and all the way to the fingertips. And then gently bring the chin to the chest. Pause here for a moment as you feel the stretch into the back of your head, the back of your neck, into your upper back. Take the head to the opposite direction. Make sure you lift the chin so the face is forward, allowing that left ear to be towards your left shoulder as the right fingers reach down and away and bring the chin back down to the chest and the ear over to the shoulder. And let your head just gently rock from side to side at your own pace. Find a connection with your breath as you let the head move. Breathe as you move. Eventually let the chin come back to the chest, let the head just hang there for a moment. The hands can rest on the lap or on the thighs, let the shoulders drop down, and as you inhale, lead with the chest. Uh, sorry, lead with your chin, taking the chin off of the chest as you look up towards the sky. 
And as you exhale, take your time as you bring the chin all the way back down. Keep the shoulders back and down the spine long as the head moves down. And as you inhale, lead with the chin and look all the way up. Exhaling all the way back down. Find your full range of motion one more time as you look all the way up. And exhale, come back to neutral, letting that chin be parallel to the floor, the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale as you look to the right. Bring that chin as close to the shoulder as you can, and then exhale as you look to the left. No need to move anything else in the body. Just work with your range of motion, inhaling to the right. And exhale to the left. One more time to the right. And exhale to the left. All right, come back to the center. Close the eyes. Be still and quiet. Be right here and right now. As you open the eyes, make your, make your way to the hands and knees. So just slowly transition. You can roll forward and send the feet behind you. You can swing the legs around. If you use any supports, just set them aside. But as you come onto the hands and knees, be intentional to place the hands right under the shoulders, the knees right underneath the hips, the feet extended out from the knees. Of course, if you're using a chair today, just stand and have the hands on the seat of the chair. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, tuck the tailbone under, round the spine as you feel the shoulder blades splay apart as you wrap the head and chin to the chest. And as you exhale, back the pelvis forward, send the tailbone up and the belly down. Lift the chest and lift the gaze. And then exhale and round. Inhale and lift. Move at your own pace as you float between these two postures, finding your full range of motion here, doing your breath. Eventually coming back to a neutral spine. You're gonna move the trunk of the body in circles. So you can imagine you have a hula hoop or a barrel around your body and you're gonna trace the inside of that barrel. So let the, hip, the ribs move down to the floor, send the ribs all the way over towards the right side of the room, all the way up to the ceiling and then all the way over to the left and then back to the floor again. And you're just gonna keep circling around here Allowing there to be some freedom in the body. This is a very organic movement. You might feel the shoulders or your hips. Feel free to let the body just go where it needs to go to get the edges of the movement, to get into the cells, the bones, the muscles. Breathe as you move. And then that's how the belly is down towards the floor. Just pause and take the same movement in the opposite direction. But it's different sensations, but allow there to still be that freedom in the movement. Notice how it feels. Move so it feels good to you. Exaggerate the movement if you can find your full range of motion. And then slowly make your way back towards the center. Tuck the toes under and walk the hands out towards the front edge of your mat, finding your puppy stretch. Let the head and the heart move down. Maybe use a support maybe a walk with your arms. Take a deep breath in through the nose. 
as you expand out of sky, let that heart move to the earth. This is a practice of surrendering and letting go. Notice the sensations and give yourself permission to let go. Do an the hips and back to the hands and knees. I want you to step <clears throat> the right foot forward. So you could choose to use blocks here. <clears throat> Take the right foot and bring it all the way up towards the front of the mat. Again, blocks might be helpful. Make sure that back knees behind the hips. Press the hips forward. Inhale, lift up through the chest. And as you exhale, send the weight back, lift the toes off the floor. So if you're using a chair, just create that same movement with that back leg straight, both feet on the floor. Inhale, bending that front knee and lifting up through the chest and then exhaling as you send the hips back. You're trying to straighten that front leg, but it won't necessarily be straight. Inhale and shift forward. Exhale and shift back. One more time, inhale and shift forward. Exhale and shift back. Good, as you make your way to the front, as you have weight in your front foot, bring both hands to the inside of your foot. You could take the block along with you. Take a deep breath in, kind of lift up through the chest. As you exhale, let that knee drop out to the side. Feel the outside edge of your foot on the floor and then root the foot to the floor as the knee comes in. Good, the knee falls out, feel the edge of your foot, and then massage the bottom of your foot as you press it down and let the knee come up. Really nice, everybody. Inhale, let it move out. And exhale, draw it in. One more time, send the knee all the way back, all the way out, and then bring it all the way in. Good, bring both hands to either side of your foot. That front foot's gonna come back. And take a little puppy stretch here, or maybe lift the knees into downward facing dog. It's up to you. Whatever feels good in your body in this moment. Connect to your breath. Maybe even move in down dog if you'd like. Practice being right here, right now, fully present in your body. Into the mat and take your left foot and step it all the way forward. Shift the weight forward into that front foot. The top of the back foot is on the floor. Inhale, press the hips forward, lift up. You'll feel this nice stretch in your thigh and hip flexor here as well. And then send the hips back, lift the toes up. Feel that nice stretch into the back of that front leg. Good. Inhale and shift forward. Exhale, and move back. Inhale, and shift forward. Exhale, and move back. Good, shift the weight forward into that front foot. Bring both hands to the inside of your foot. Let that foot drift out to the side. Feel the outer edge of your foot on the floor and then root the foot down to the floor as you draw the knee in. Again, you could use a block, any height, a book, whatever you might have, a chair, let the knee float out, and then root the foot to the floor as it comes in. Let the knee move out. Keep the hips forward and down, and root the foot to the floor. Let's do it one more time. Take it all the way out, and then bring it all the way in. Good, bring both hands to either side of your foot. Tuck the back toe under and lift the back knee and take your time as you walk that back foot in. So you're now in a forward fold. Hinge at the hips, maybe you soften the knees, let the head drop all the way down. The upper body like a rock ball here. Feel the weight of the upper body just moving down to the earth. Take a deep breath in. Imagine that tailbone rising a little higher. And as you exhale, imagine the top of the head moving even closer to the earth.
And then you drop the tailbone, look up. Root the feet down to the floor as you slowly begin to rise. Straighten the legs at the top and the arms overhead, the palms come together. And as you exhale, let the hands move down through the center. Bring the hands to the heart. Close your eyes. And feel the sensations of right here and right now. As you open the eyes, bring the arms down to your side. Finding your strong mountain pose, we call this Tadasana. The feet are parallel and those feet are rooted down to the earth as the top of the head is reaching up. This energy of rooting down to rise up helps create that balance and stability. So if somebody were to come and almost like try to push you over, you would be so rooted to the earth that even though the body might sway, you wouldn't go all the way over because you're rooted and grounded to the earth, even with the flexibility and the gentleness of the upper body. So try to feel that sensation in this moment, rooting down to rise up. and that balance between effort and ease. And then maintain that in your body. As you inhale, take the arms and reach them all the way up. And as you exhale, let the arms come all the way back down. So it's that rooting that helps us find that balance. So stay supported. Inhale, reach all the way up. And exhale, let the arms come all the way down. Good. One more time, inhale and reach up. And exhale, let the arms come down. Good. Inhale, reach up, press the palms together, squeeze the biceps into the ears. Stay nice and long, stay rooted through the feet as you exhale and reach to the right, the hips go to the left. Feel still feel this essence of rooting down to really lengthen and stretch and breathe into that left side of the body. Imagine you're between two panes of glass here, rolling the ribs and the heart up. Maybe your gaze even goes up. And then as you root those feet down, slowly take your time as you come back to the center. Really nice, Kelly. And then keep that length as you exhale and go the other way. At heart still rolling open, maybe your gaze goes up still rooted and grounded to the earth. Stretch and breathe into that right side of your body. Taking your time really slowly, inhale and rise all the way back up to the center. And as you exhale, let the arms just float all the way down to your side. Close the eyes for a moment. Feel the rush of energy in your arms and your shoulders, maybe your head and your neck. Just receive it in this moment. And then with your next inhale, take the arms, reach them all the way up. Press the palms together overhead. Try to squeeze the biceps into the ears as you keep rooted down to the earth, lift up through the chest here. And again, this isn't about leaning back and sinking down. You want to keep that length. You're still rooted down through the feet as you lift up through the crown of the head. Uh, through the sternum, through the chest, is what's really lifting and lengthening and opening. Take your time, inhale slowly, use your core, come all the way back to the center. And as you exhale, take your time and swan dive down into the fold. Rest in the fold, maybe bend the knees, use blocks if you choose, let the whole upper body just melt to the earth. Then peek up to the front of the room. Take just your right foot and step it all the way back. Pivot that back heel so the back heel is grounded to the floor. Go a little deeper into that front knee. Now feel that rooted down through the feet to get the balance as you slowly begin to rise up into warrior one. Feel the strength through the transition. Feel the length in the upper body. Feel that sense of grounding in your low body. Inhale as the fingertips reach up to the sky. And exhale as the arms come down to your side. Good. Inhale and reach up. And exhale as the arms come down. Inhale and reach up. 
And as you exhale, let's bring those arms behind the back. Stay grounded in that low body. Interlace the fingers or reach for the opposite elbow. Focus on pulling the shoulder blades back and feel the expansion through your chest. Give your heart permission to open. Maybe drop your head to challenge that balance even more. And then release the hands, keep the front foot right where it is. Just pivot that back heel. You might even pick that foot up entirely till you feel really grounded and steady. That front knee is still bent. That back leg is straight. Once again, really grounded here. Take the arms and reach them up. Relax the shoulders. Relax the muscles of your face. Check in with that front leg. Let the arch lift and the knee open to the outside edge of your foot. And as you inhale, take the front hand, reach it all the way up and back. Imagine you're gonna to touch the back wall and relax that back arm. And as you exhale, come all the way forward, elbow to the thigh as you reach to the front of the room. Keep those feet rooted and grounded, inhale and rise up. Reaching all the way back and exhale as you come all the way forward. Inhale, reach up and back. And exhale, come all the way forward. Good. Inhale, reach all the way up and back. Straighten that front leg now, rooting that front foot to the floor, stretching and reaching all the way back behind you. Use your core strength. Come back to neutral. You're going to take that back foot and draw it in. So it's right here next to the front foot, right? So if you're in the, in the camera like this, you're here. If you want to turn to the side, that's up to you. But the left toe is turned out. I think this is like third position in ballet or something like that. But we're working into our tree pose. So this has already created a balance challenge just by having the feet together. Lift that left heel up and maybe you can walk that ball of your foot in closer to the body. The knee is open back behind you. The supporting leg is rooted down as you lift all the way up through the crown of the head. Let's bring the hands to the heart for a moment. So this is our foundation. So even if you know that you can have a more challenging version of this posture, I want you to be here for a moment. I want you to feel the peace and the calm, the stillness from within as you pause in the posture. Now you can choose to stay right here or maybe you decide to add that added challenge. You could certainly use a chair or other support for balance or just keep the foot on the floor. You might take the arms and reach them up. If you fall out, doesn't matter. Just come back. Let it be fun. I love a smile on your face, Lisa. Just let it be fun and joyful. It's like being on a playground and you're just discovering your body, feeling your body in space and in this moment. As you inhale, maybe grow even taller. And as you exhale, let the arms come down, let the foot come down. Go ahead and face the front of your space. If you're shifted on your mat, bring the hands to your heart and just close the eyes. Feel the energy of this moment. Receive the gifts of this moment. Practice being right here and right now, still and quiet. Enjoying the peace and the calm within. Right, bring the arms down to your side. Once again, finding your mountain pose. So in your mountain pose, root down as you lift up. Inhale, take the arms, reach them overhead. And as you exhale, bring the arms down to your sides. Good. Inhale and reach up. Exhale, the arms down. Inhale and reach up. And exhale, the arms down. 
Good. Keep rooting down through those feet to find that balance and stability as you reach the arms overhead, as you squeeze the biceps into the ears. Just be here for a moment in that real nice, tall, long, extended mountain pose. Inhale, grow a little longer, even taller. And as you exhale, let's reach to the left, pressing the hips to the right. Stay in between those two panes of glass or resist the urge to roll forward or even for just the arms to come forward. Even if it means your range of motion is not as great, that's fine. You want to feel that nice long stretch. Really beautiful, Anne-Marie. If you want to challenge that balance, you could look up. Root the feet down slowly. Inhale and rise back to the center. There's no rush. Once at the top, keep that length long and tall, and then exhale as you go the other way. Roll that heart open. Maybe your gaze goes up. Really nice, Kathy. Breathe. Inhale slowly, come all the way back to the center. And then as you exhale, let the arms come all the way down. Close those eyes for a moment. Feel the energy in your upper body. Feel the flow throughout your arms, maybe your sides and your back, whatever you notice. And then inhale, take the arms, reach them all the way up, bring the palms together, the biceps to the ears. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you could step the feet together. No, that's an option that's available to you. And then send the fingertips back behind you as you lift that chest up to the ceiling. Maybe your go gaze goes up, but notice we're not sinking down. We're still rooted down through those feet as you lift all the way up. As you inhale, slowly come back to neutral. And as you exhale, swan dive down into the fold. You might widen the feet here, it's up to you, but let that upper body just melt down to the earth. Feel the release of tension. Slowly let go. And with the hands grounded to the floor, take your left foot and step it all the way back. Pivot that back heel so the heat that back foot so the heel is on the floor. Bend low into the front knee. Look up to the front of the room. And then as you root those feet down, find core strength to slowly rise all the way up. That rooting down that gives us the strength and the balance in the transition. You might make an adjustment at the top that's up to you. The front knee is bent, hips are square. That back leg is really straight and active. Sometimes we forget about that back leg. We get a little lazy here. So really activate that back leg. Keep even weight in both feet to really ground and root down to the earth. Then feel the upper body lifting as you inhale and as you exhale, let the arms slowly come down. Good, inhale and reach up. Nice, Jude, you just came into focus. Nice, exhale, let the arms come down. Really solid in that low body, light in that upper body as you reach up and exhale. Let's bring those arms once again behind the back. Interlace the fingers, try to straighten the arms, lift up through the chest. Focus on the shoulder blades going back, that heart expanding, that chest lifting. Maybe you take your gaze up. And then release the arms. Keep the front foot where it is. We'll pivot that back foot. Adjust it as you come into your warrior two. Here in warrior two, the front knee is bent, just like warrior one, the back leg is straight. Take the arms and reach them up, relax the face and the shoulders. Lift the arch and open the knee to the outside edge of your foot. Keep the belly in and the tailbone tucked under. But as you gaze out over the front fingers, inhale, follow the edge of your fingertips all the way up and back as you reach to the back of your space. Relax that back shoulder, stay low in that front knee. And then float all the way forward as you bring the elbow to the thigh and reach to the front of the space. Nice, Christy. Root those feet down into the earth as you inhale and reach up and back. And then exhale as you float all the way forward. Inhale, reaching up and back and exhale as you move all the way forward inhale reach up and back as you begin to straighten that front leg reaching to the back of the room relax the back shoulder relax your face find that balance as you root down 
So lengthen and stretch and inhale, come back to neutral. You'll take that back leg and draw it in. So you find that third position, so to speak, on your mat. Then lift the right heel and draw it in, shortening your base, which makes it even more challenging. Look at that, Paula. <laughs> Paula's now back with Deb. <laughs> It's like you jumped boxes. That's kind of funny. Root that left foot down as you lengthen and stretch. Keep that right knee open. Keep the core engaged. Bring the hands to the heart. Find your foundation. Be okay being just here for a moment. You might shift and move. It's okay. Imagine once again that that Somebody's gonna come and maybe gently press on you. Can you root down and keep the body really solid and steady so that you don't fall over? If you wanna bring the foot up or lift the arms up, you can try that too. But still imagine if somebody comes over to knock you over, how can you stay grounded through the feet, strong in the core of the body, but flexible enough that you just don't fall over? Do fall out of the posture, no big deal. You just come back when you're ready. Take a deep breath in as you exhale. Slowly let the arms and the foot come down. Once both feet are on the floor, face the front of your space. Bring the hands to your heart. Close the eyes. Feel the sensations of right here and right now. Feel that stillness and quiet within. And as you open the eyes, bring the arms down to your side. Once again, finding that strong mountain pose as you root down into the earth, inhale and reach the arms up. And as you exhale, let the arms come down. Good, inhale, take the arms up, press the palms together, the biceps into the ears as you root down. Once again, lift up through the front of the body. It's like you're reaching for the wall back behind you. It's like you're sending your chest all the way up to the sky. As you inhale, slowly come back to neutral. And as you exhale, swan dive back down into the fold. Take it easy, be gentle and kind to yourself as you work yourself into the fold. Maybe bend the knees, maybe use blocks or a chair, whatever feels good to you. When you're ready, ground the hands to the floor and step the feet back, finding downward facing dog. Maybe you're in standing downward facing dog. You can choose puppy stretch here as well, whatever feels good to you. The only thing that's not optional here is your breath. Mindful breaths in and out. And whenever you decide, bring the knee all the way back down to the floor and rest in a child's pose. Make whatever modifications you need to make. You can widen the knees. You can bring the hands back to your feet. You could use a support under your head. Take a deep breath in once you're here. And as you exhale, relax, soften, and move to the earth. Now bring the hands under the shoulders and draw the body up. And you're gonna sit down onto the floor. Now I am gonna have you move all the way onto your back. So those of you that are home, you might want to adjust your camera before you get all the way down onto your back. And you might want to lay in the same way I am so that you can still see the camera, see the screen, sorry, once you're on your back. But once you're on your back, bring the knees into the chest and just really gently rock from side to side. Massaging the back of your body.
Good, then keep the right knee into the chest. Extend that left leg out all the way to the floor. Interlace the fingers on that right shin to ever so gently draw the right knee into the chest. The face is relaxed, the shoulders are relaxed, that left leg is completely relaxed. Bring awareness to your breath and as you inhale, feel the belly rise all the way up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, draw the belly all the way down to the floor. Keep taking these big, deep, mindful breaths, letting the belly rise on the inhale and then letting the belly fall on the exhale. Now shift the hands behind your thigh and take that right leg and extend it up to the ceiling. You could always choose to bend that left knee. That's up to you. I want you to bend that right knee and then straighten the leg. Bend the knee and straighten the leg. One more time, bend the knee, keep the leg as straight as you can at the top and focus on your foot for a moment as you circle it around. Nice, big, mindful movements here. And then just pause and go in the opposite direction. Guys in the chairs are doing a great job modifying here. Good, let your foot relax. Take the left arm and reach it overhead. And essentially you're gonna roll onto the left side of the body and reach for the ankle of your top leg. So if you're in a chair, you're just gonna to come to the side for a quadricep stretch, but you're reaching for the ankle of that top leg, pulling the heel towards your glutes to lengthen and stretch through your quadriceps. Most of you have it here. If you're not sure, just take a peek at the screen. So yeah, Christy, bend that knee, there you go. That bottom leg might bend a little to get a little more stability, or you can keep the leg straight to get a little bit more strength here. Feel that stretch through the thigh as the hips move forward and the tailbone tucks under. Keep the knee extended right out from the hip here. Breathe. And now as you release it out, I want you to roll back onto your spine. Take both arms, reach them all the way overhead. You're gonna take your left leg and cross it over your right. And you're gonna take the feet and move them over towards the right edge of your mat. Take your right hand and reach it for your left wrist and pull the hands once again towards the right side of your mat. So you kind of wind up creating a banana shape in your body. This arch is the feet and the hands are reaching to the right edge of your mat to lengthen and stretch all through that left side of your body. Yeah. Try to keep the sits bones grounded. Yeah, there you go, Christy. There you go, Deb, nice. Mindful breaths in and out. And with your next exhale, just release the arms, uncross the legs, and the arms to your side as you come into corpse pose for a moment. The feet wide, the arms are wide, close the eyes. Feel the sensations of right here and right now. Maybe one side of the body feels a little different than the other. Just enjoy the sensations here. And when you're ready, bring both knees once again into the chest and rock from side to side. Let this be an actual massage into the back of your body. 
can roll all the way over to the side and then all the way over to the other side. Whatever feels good to you. The knees could be in closer to the chest or further away. It's going to change the sensations. And eventually come back to the spine. Keep that left knee into the chest as you extend the right leg out and down to the floor. That right leg is completely relaxed. The face and the shoulders are completely relaxed. Just a little bit of effort with the biceps, with the arms to pull that knee into the chest, even as you keep the face and the shoulders relaxed. With awareness on your breath, inhale, send the belly all the way up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, bring the belly all the way down towards the floor. As you inhale, the belly rises like there's a balloon in your belly inflating. And as you exhale, the belly moves down, the balloon deflates, the knee comes a little closer to your chest. Do this a few more times at your own pace. If you're in a chair, you can just simply bring that knee in and hold it up, whatever feels good to you. You could use a strap, you could put the heel on the chair. The idea is to just bring the thigh towards your belly and breathe. Now bring the hands behind the thigh, extend that left leg up to the ceiling. If you wanna bend the right knee, that's up to you. If you're in a chair, just come to the edge of your chair. We're gonna bend that left leg and then straighten it again. Good, and you're just getting as straight as you can. Feel the knee and the back of the leg. Feel the stretch as you bend again and straighten up. One more time, bend the knee. Right in the leg at the top, just pause and rotate your ankle. Nice big circles, mindful movements here. And then just pause and go in the opposite direction. Right. Relax the foot, take that right arm, reach it overhead. So this time you're gonna roll onto the right side of your body and reach for the ankle of the top leg. So we're in our thigh stretch. So that top leg is bent, the hand is on the ankle, the hips are stacked. You can bend that bottom leg or keep it a little more straight. And let the head just rest on that extended arm. As the heel goes back, hips press forward. You're just moving so that you feel that gentle stretch through the quadricep. It's going to be different for each of us. Feel free to modify or adjust, but allow yourself to feel that length all through the front of that top leg. And as you release it out, come back onto your spine. I'm gonna do that banana side stretch here. So once you're on your back, take the right foot over your left. Take both arms overhead. Use your left hand to reach for your right wrist. You're moving the hands towards the left of your mat and move the feet towards the left of your mat. If you're seated, just find a side stretch. You can reach one arm up and over. It's up to you. You want to feel the length and the stretch all into that right side of your body. The glutes stay grounded, the shoulders are still grounded, the, or the shoulder blades. Paula, can you bring your feet closer to the edge of your mat, to the left edge of your mat? Yeah, maybe it's too much, just notice. Breathe. Nice, Patty. Mm -hmm. 
you exhale, release it out, uncross the legs, bring the arms down to your side, find corpse pose. Feel the stillness and the quiet. And from here, we will settle in corpse pose for Shavasana. Now you could modify by coming into waterfall. You could just simply be relaxing in a chair, whatever feels good to you. Add any layers, work out any fidgets, give yourself a few moments to get still and quiet. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, let out a sigh. And feel the body just dropping into the earth. Feel the body heavy so that the body is almost becoming imprinted on the earth. Feel the weight as you soften. And then as you continue to relax, see if you can feel the sensation of lightness. As if you're floating off of the floor. Both sensations can help you to relax, to let go. Spend these few moments in stillness and quiet. In rest and relaxation. the next few minutes. Just rest here.
Take a deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, let out a sigh. Take another long, full, deep breath in. And this time, as you exhale, wiggle the fingers and wiggle the toes. Let your head just gently rock from side to side. Take another deep breath in as you reach the arms overhead, as you stretch and open, feel the energy and the love throughout your body. And as you exhale, bring the knees into the chest and slowly rock all the way over onto the right side of your body. Just take a moment to find stillness and quiet once again. As you take this time to be in gratitude, what are you grateful for in this moment? What are the sensations of gratitude? How can you take this moment with you into the rest of your day and into your tomorrows? When you feel complete, extend the top leg, press the hands into the earth. Take your time as you come back to a comfortable seated posture with the hands on the heart. It's here we first send love and healing, first and foremost to ourselves. Practice self-love, shower yourself in love. Feel the sensations of self-love. Know that you are worthy and that you deserve it. Send love and healing to each and every person with whom you just shared this practice. And let this love and healing extend out to others in our yoga community that for whatever reason, are not here to receive it themselves. Send love and healing to your family and friends, those people you feel closest to, those people that are easy to love. And send love and healing to someone in your life that you know is hurting, is struggling, is having a hard time, whether it be physically or emotionally. And then bring to mind someone that you struggle to be kind to, someone that you don't like very much, that you're in conflict with, this person that makes you feel angry, hurt, misunderstood. And choose to send them love and healing anyway. Ultimately, this love and healing goes out to every human being on the planet and every living thing in the universe. Let's close with our affirmation. I'll say it once by myself so you can listen and then invite you to say it along with me. Those of you at home, feel free to unmute yourself at this point so our voices can come together. There is enough love to heal the world and there is enough love to heal ourselves. Take a deep breath in. Together, there yeah. is enough love heal the world and there is enough love to heal ourselves shanti 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 peace 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 namaste namaste the real gift of this practice is taking it off of the mat and bringing it into the rest of your day into the rest of your week um, bringing this awareness, this practice of breath and mindful movement to everything that you do, it truly can transform your life.